This week's show is brought to you in association with the British Shooting Show. The British Shooting Show is the largest trade and retail show in the UK. And next year, on the 17th to the 19th of February at the NEC, um, I'll be there along with a, what I suspect will be a few of the recognisable faces. I'm ready to meet you guys if you're kicking about. This year, they've listened to feedback and your parking and a, co and a copy of the programme will be included in the ticket price. Keep your eyes peeled because I'll be doing a competition to give away some tickets later in the year. Hey guys, I was out testing today with two very different guns and it gave me an idea for a video uh, to answer a question which I get asked reasonably often, um, which is what's the difference between a, a game gun and a sport gun? And the two guns I happen to have at the moment are an excellent illustration of that point. And it's really obvious when you shoot them. I've been shooting these two guns back to back uh, because I've, I happen to have the two at the same time and it was so obvious. Game gun, fast, um, light, more prone to direction changes would be the way I would describe it. Like a sports car, like, a, like an MX-5. Um, light, fast, able to move around and able to change direction, able to corner effectively because game birds don't fly in straight lines. So if you're moving this gun through the sky and something changes direction, it's quite easy to pull it offline and, uh, and move where the bird's going. But that, what makes it great as a game gun is what necessarily doesn't make it great as a sporter because that same tendency can mean that you pull offline. Um, something you're not going to do with this Caesar Greeny. The, this is an out and out sporter, nine pound, 100% clay gun. Uh, much more deliberate, different balance, much heavier, much more linear in the swing. When you move this thing, it doesn't want to change direction. It wants to keep going in the direction you pushed it in. And you've really got to be kind of on your toes. If you want it to change direction, you've got to move it there. You can't just kind of, it won't just wander off. Um, the difference is because of the design. The guns are designed to be like that. If you look at them, the MK11 um, game gun, we've got solid top and mid rib, eight mil uh, top rib with a, with a brass front bead, um, very slim, uh, nice sort of English sport of four end, slim pistol grip, uh, more rake than uh, this on the CG, no palm swell, the stock, is a completely different design. It's faster to mount. Uh, it's slimmer. It's got drop from uh, from the comb to the to the heel, and much much faster and more sort of instinctive to get into your shoulder. Um, thinner profile. It's sort of easy to get in behind and easy to shoot. Um, a really nice gun to shoot. Actually, surprisingly versatile. It actually does well at clays. Um, coming on to the CG, completely different style. Like two pound heavier. Um, we've got a much more um, deliberate fat forend, um, ventilated top and mid rib, uh, extended chokes. Uh, to be honest, the choke being extended or not doesn't make any difference, but it, it's, it's a look, right? Um, we've got a tram line, we've got a mid bead. Uh, coming into the action, it's a big, heavy action, designed to put a lot of uh, ammunition through. Um, tighter radius on the grip, we've got a um, a notable palm swell designed to put your hand in a certain position. It makes it less versatile. We've got a, a Monte Carlo with a, an adjustable comb on this gun, thicker in terms of the actual profile of it. So it's much more deliberate, designed to put your head in the same place every time, designed to minimize recoil for high volume shooting. And the two, as I said, couldn't be more different. We've got one that's very, very quick, uh, an MX-5, whereas this is more of like a BMW M5, a motorway brawler designed to do a lot of miles in a straight line, that's, that's the difference. And that's really the decision that you've got to make if you're looking at buying your first gun or indeed your second gun, or you're just looking to change guns and you wanted to pick between a, a game gun and a sporter. You've got to really work out what your percentage of shooting is. If you're doing more game type shooting, something like this MK11 will be ideal. But if you're doing more sporting shooting, um, you might be intended to go, sorry, uh, more clay shooting, you'd be more inclined to go for more of a, a clay gun. There are, there are guns definitely that bridge that gap and there are some guns that, that are quite happy doing both. Um, but this, this CG is 100%, this is, a, this is a clay gun, out and out. Um, something for you to bear in mind when you're making decisions in the future. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them for me in the comments below. Um, do, as always, follow me on the socials. Please subscribe to the channel, which is, as ever, supported by Bio Shooting Ground. Mac White Gloves and uh, Hull Cartridge. Guys, thanks for watching.